speech writing, how to write an outline for a speech or essay. Introduction. Making speeches is something we are all inclined to avoid. However, people who are seen as reliable and relatable communicators are also seen as natural leaders of the group. What's more, effectively learning the skill of making a formal presentation carries over into many other situations. Thus, learning how to make a speech or formal presentation is one of the most valuable skills for our jobs and our lives. In this lesson and in many subsequent ones to follow, we will be exploring the processes of speech preparation and delivery. This video is part of the communication skills course. Visit www. Dot practical English with Darcy, dot blogspot, dot com for more. The parts of a speech. A typical speech outline usually consists of three basic parts introduction, body, conclusion, or summary. Plan your speech introduction. Give the audience a reason to listen to your speech. Explain the importance of the topic. Can you answer the question? Is your talk important and relevant for audiences? How and why? Attention getters. Attention getters are a collection of speech writing devices that you can choose to use in your introduction to increase the interest and attention of the audience. Examples include greet the audience, introduce yourself, tell a joke, tell a personal story, also known as an anecdote, ask an interesting question to make the audience consider the topic you'll be discussing, share a surprising observation on the topic, for example, a fact or statistic, share a quote. Present your thesis statement. If your speech is intended to be informative and objective, such as in a report, tell the audiences exactly what you will be talking about in one or two sentences. If you're making an argumentative speech, such as in a proposal, state your point of view as your thesis. In an informative talk, your introduction should simply summarize the key points of interest. If you're going to give an argumentative talk, your thesis statement should state the ultimate point you want to prove throughout the talk. Preview the main points. Speeches most often contain three main points and rarely ever contain more than five. When speaking on your main points it's a good idea to signal to the audience that you are introducing a point. You can do this by using these phrases. The first and most important point is this. Secondly, finally, etc. Provide supporting evidence. When making claims you are expected to provide reasons as to why you hold a certain viewpoint. Facts and viewpoints from credible sources are considered supporting evidence. Consider the audience. The information you choose to present and the way in which you present it will impress upon the audience that you have carefully thought through and researched your speech topic. Structure your outline so that the most important and interesting points are presented first. It can be helpful for audiences to repeat the main points in different ways. Try to keep the speech as short and simple as possible. Allow the audience to ask questions if they are interested in learning more information. In other words, plan time either during or at the end of your talk for audience interaction. Conclusion or summary. Signal to the audience that you have given all of your main points with these phrases. In conclusion, in summary, to sum up, repeat your thesis statement and reiterate some of your strong points. Try to end in a positive way and give the audience something to think about. Practice speech topics. Now, you have an opportunity to prepare an outline of your own. Practice making speeches on these topics. Healthy lifestyle. Talk about maintaining good health. Use some or all of the ideas. What are some of the things you do to keep healthy? Mention some of your ideas on diet, sport and exercise. Do you feel maintaining good health can sometimes be challenging? How and why? Talk about your experiences. Travel. Talk about the reasons why people visit other countries or places. What do you think is the most interesting place to visit in your country? Talk about a place you have traveled to or would like to travel to one day in the future. Include some points on the following. Location and history. Local attractions. Customs and activities. Language learning. Talk about learning a second language. What advice would you give to a friend who wants to learn a second language? Speak on some of these points. Reading books or newspapers. Using technology. Taking classes or studying on your own. Which of these methods do you feel are the most beneficial? Explain your reasons or talk about your experiences. An influential person. Talk about an influential person, for example a teacher, that you highly respect. Who is this person and why do you admire them? Speak on these points their personality, attitude and style. Give an example of how they helped you in some important way. Life experiences. Tell a story about something that changed your life. Describe it in detail. Suggested. An important achievement for your life. Meeting someone who became a friend or mentor. Seeing something new. Time and money. 
Give a speech about your opinions on how to make wise choices. What factors should you consider when making decisions about the following? Making money and spending or saving it. Managing your time effectively. Choosing a career. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please remember to follow this channel. Help us grow to reach more audiences by liking the video and sharing it. If you would like to become a VIP member, or you're interested in having a free consultation, write to us, or go to www.practicalenglishwithdarcy.blogspot.com for more.